presentation. So I'm doing the question of uh, May 2016. So this is May 2016, question four. So that is May 2016, question four. So we are starting with the first requirement, whereby the first requirement is all about you are told to do goodwill. So goodwill is equal to purchase consideration minus share of net assets, of net assets acquired, of the net assets acquired. So first, you know that we have two companies which were acquired. We have Bora, which is a subsidiary, and we have Njema, which is a joint venture. So the two companies were acquired in that particular financial year. So the main thing you need to ask yourself, which method am I supposed to use to compute the goodwill of the subsidiary? For joint ventures, you don't have even to think of which method to use because the goodwill is just attributable to the parent. We are not concerned with the other 50, which we don't know. We are only concerned with the first 50%, which the parent controls in this gemma. So in gemma, there is no anything concerning NCI. That is non-controlling interest. That is why you have no any time to think about method to use because it will obviously pass your method. Under subsidiary, there is an NCI that is a non-controlling interest. Because Bora was acquired up to 80%. Eh? So there's a 20%, there's a 20% which was owing to the non-controlling interest. So on some scenarios where they are not specific, but in this question they were specific, we use partial. In some scenarios when they are not specific, you need to think of which method are you supposed to use to compute the goodwill of the subsidiary. And you know, in order to use the full method, you must be given the fair value of the non-controlling interest. That is uh, what I mean. So we start from the goodwill of Bora. So goodwill of Bora using full method, uh, using partial method, sorry for that, using partial method as stated in the question. Eh? So remember that uh, using partial method, this goodwill will be attributable. That goodwill will be attributable to the parent. So we start from purchase consideration. We start from purchase considera consideration. So purchase consideration, remember that you were told in the note one, you were told in note one that the company was acquired. Eh? You were told in note one, the purchase consideration was, so you need to give me these answers. Right? 18,000. It was 18,000. Eh? 18,000. Yes, it's 18,000. So that's why they said on 1st May 2015, Jamie Limited acquired 80% of 1125 million ordinary shares of shillings 10 each in Bora for shillings 18,000. Rest net assets. Share of net assets. Share of net assets acquired. So share of net assets, we have uh, various net assets, ordinary share, capital share, premium, retained earnings, revaluation of reserve. So those are some of the net assets you need to check in any question. So now on this question, remember there was no balance sheet. Some question you would be given a balance sheet of which you need to go to the equity part of that question and check for the net assets. But if you are not given a balance sheet, they will obviously provide it they will provide uh, those net assets and additional information. Like now you said that you have the question at the same time I've shared it to your WhatsApp group. So if you have opened the question, question one, that is not question one, sorry, additional information one, they say on 1st May 2015, Jami acquired, Jami acquired, he acquired 80%. Eh? He acquired 80%, so I can assist, I can assist here. Yeah. So that is all about, I'm saying, on 1st May 2015, Jamie Limited acquired 80% of uh, 1125 ordinary share, shares of 10 each in Bora. So you can see there's an ordinary share capital of, so you need to take 1125 times 10, eh? Because he acquired 1,125 shares, eh? then per share is 10. So to get the ordinary share capital, you take the 1,125, you multiply with 10. After that, 
you can see here they say as at a, as a third date share premium balance was 3750 that is 3750 where retained profit was 3705 so when you are doing goodwill get me correct when you are doing goodwill the retained earnings you need to use the retained earnings you used to use the retained earnings you will use must be as acquisition date of the relevant company. Like now here we are doing the goodwill of Bora. Bora was acquired first May 2015. 15. That is why you can see the examiner was fair for the student. He said as a third date. So the share premium was 3750, while retained profit was 3705. That is correct. But now uh, in some scenarios, you can find that uh, the retained earnings given is not as at the date of acquisition of that company. So you need to do a computation to get as acquisition date. That one will come in when I will be doing the goodwill of Njema. So I, I, we can see that we have ordinary share capital, which I've said it's there. We have a share premium, 3750. We have a retained profit, 3705. And there's one additional net assets, which is under note the three, our evaluation reserve. Eh? Again, the revaluation reserve must be as acquisition debt. So retained earnings and revaluation reserve must be as acquisition debt when you are computing your goodwill. So as acquisition debt, I mean, they must be as at the date when the relevant company was acquired. That's why you can see on the three there, they said on the date of acquisition of Bora, on the date of acquisition, acquisition of Bora, the property, plant, and equipment of the company had a fair value, which was in excess of the book value by 390. So you know already that, that 390 is our evaluation. So what I would be doing is just recording, of which I think, guys, you can do that for me. So let us do it together. Uh, so the only thing I would do here is uh, just to record very fast. So ordinary share capital. So ordinary share capital would be the 80% of 1125, so 11,250. Then the next thing is, it's all about, I say this, I share premium. So that share premium is 3750, 80% of 3750. Then we have a retained profit, of which I've mentioned about retained profit. I've said that the retained profit, obvious it must be as acquisition date, of which they said that eh? it was as acquisition date. Eh? They said that in that not one, of which I've mentioned already. Then finally, we have a we have a revaluation reserve. We have a revaluation reserve. So the eighty percent of three ninety. Eighty percent of three nine three ninety. So the two, these two, I have said, the figures we are supposed to use, they must be as, that is a, the pre-acquisition in short, as acquisition date, eh? pre-acquisition, the pre-acquisition as, so pre-acquisition means at the same time as acquisition date. Eh? So 80% of 11 to 50. Nine thousand. That is nine thousand. Good for that. So nine thousand. The next one. Eighty percent of three thousand. Three thousand. Yeah. Then the next one. Point eight and thirty-seven zero five. 
Twenty seven twenty four. Was it in bed? Yes, once again. They say twenty seven twenty four. There was an impairment of twenty five percent. That is a uh, good into not uh, six. Eh? The good with arising on acquisition of the university company had suffered impairment losses to the extent of 25%. Percent. Yes, so your answer, yes, just check the 27, 24 times the 25%. So that is impair, impairment. So 25%. Of twenty-seven, twenty-four. So six, six, one. So down there you can record all about your net goodwill once you subtract, subtract. So my net goodwill. Twenty forty-three. That is. 2043. 2043. So, so we are done with that. So next we talk about the goodwill of gem. The goodwill of gem, we talk about purchase consideration. So purchase consideration, that note two was 6,300. If you can check note two, they said that. Less share of net assets. So share of net assets, I have ordinary share capital, I will use abbreviations. So 50% of, we have share premium. There was a retained earnings. So ordinary share capital was? 6,600 shares times 10 shillings. Yes, times 10 shillings. That is according to node 2. So 600 times 10. Eh? And yes. the, the share premium was 1,500. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. So that is uh, 6,000. So that is uh, 3,000. The answer. Then 1,500, which means that this is 750. Then what about the retained earnings? Retained earnings, remember that you need to do a working because we need to get as acquisition debt. Eh? Our financial year ends when? April 16th. That is? Our financial year ends on April 20th. 16. You 16. can see the requirement down there. That's April 2016. But here, what you are given here, as retained earnings, you can see my cursor where it is. Eh? The retained profit as at first May, May. And we know that this company was acquired on first November. 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 So we need to get the retained earnings as at this November. So what I will do is this. What I will do, I need to do analysis. So our financial end starts yet, April. 2016. So it starts first May, first May 2015. And this one was acquired. The company was acquired when? First November? November 2015. November 2015. So that is first November 2015. So you can see first November 2015. So which means that how many months are those from first May? Six, eh? 
Yeah, just six months. So we need the first six months. But now what we have is the retained earnings as at 1st May 2015. So 1st May 2015, it was as given retained profit as at 1st May 20? 85. 2085. Eh? So the 2085. Then now profit for, so anyway. 2085. Let me record that one. 2085. 85. So 2085 is this one. So in order to get as at this day, I have to check the profit for this year was, the profit for the year was, mm. profit for the year, go to income statement, go to income statement, provide with, uh, provide the profit uh, after tax. That is the profit for the year. 1365. Using 1365. Eh? Mm. Yes. So, so that is for the year. So to get uh, now, in order to get uh, as as at this day, which is the first six months, you will take twenty eighty five plus the six months. Then starting sixty five. Sixty five. So once you are rock down, rock back. Because I see it's one minute, which is remaining. So you are getting 27, 67.5 times 50%. That is 30, 83.75. Eh? So those yes. are some of the net assets we have. So that you raise, you get your good, goodwill. So you get your goodwill there. So that is, so I think you have understood the way I've done the retained earnings or this equation, because now 